As humanity expands its exploration into the vast reaches of the cosmos, uncovering clues about numerous worlds, an ancient question has haunted us for centuries. Is anybody out there? Our Earth is remarkably one of the best places to support life in our solar system, and the diversity we see in Earth's life is incredible. Our universe is unimaginably large, and the possibility of life outside Earth is also very high. Many scientists believe that our universe is teeming with alien life. Well, to find the answer, we look for worlds similar to ours. In our quest to discover life on other planets, we typically focus on finding life forms similar to what we know on Earth. This includes carbon-based life that thrives in the presence of liquid water and depends on light or chemicals for energy. Carbon is the backbone of every known biological molecule. Life on Earth is based on carbon, likely because each carbon atom can form bonds with up to four other atoms simultaneously. This quality makes carbon well suited to form the long chains of molecules that serve as the basis for life as we know it, such as proteins and DNA. Although this approach of finding similar life forms is logical when examining Earth-like planets, such as Mars, but a question arises. Does this apply to celestial bodies beyond our solar system? So far, we have only talked about worlds orbiting stars or planets. What about rogue planets, which wander through the universe unattached to any star? They might use thermal energy instead of stellar radiation as a main energy source. Considering these possibilities, scientists have been wondering for some time whether life beyond Earth might be based on chemicals different from those we know here. For example, instead of using water like we do, aliens may use substances like ammonia or methane. And instead of carbon, which forms the building blocks of life on Earth, they could use silicon. These amazing ideas has given rise to other possible life forms other than carbon that could exist in our universe. So let us understand the possible forms of life present in our universe one by one. Scientists have long speculated about the possibility of alternative biochemistry, with silicon-based life being one of the most interesting concepts. Silicon, found abundantly in the Earth's crust, shares some chemical properties with carbon. Silicon, located just below carbon in the periodic table, has some similarities with its elemental neighbor. Both elements can form stable bonds with four other atoms, which is important for the formation of complex and diverse molecular structures. In fact, silicon has the ability to form long chains and complex three-dimensional networks, similar to the carbon-based structures that form the basis of life on Earth. Silicon-based organisms might employ silicon-oxygen polymers as their equivalent of DNA and RNA, and silicate minerals could play roles analogous to carbohydrates and proteins in carbon-based life. One of the most compelling scenarios for silicon-based life involves extreme environments where carbon-based organisms would struggle to survive. For example, environments with high temperatures, acidic conditions or excessive radiation levels may favor silicon-based biochemistry. Silicon's ability to withstand harsh conditions may make it a viable candidate for life forms on celestial bodies with extreme environments, such as some exoplanets or moons in our own solar system. Imagine a world that's quite different from Earth. A good example in our own solar system is Saturn's moon, Titan. Unlike Earth, it doesn't have oxygen or liquid water. It's incredibly cold, which could actually be suitable for life forms based on something called silanes. However, on Titan, life would need a different liquid to replace water. Titan has lakes made of liquid methane and ethane, which might be the key. However, silicon-based life also presents significant challenges. Unlike carbon, silicon is larger and less flexible in forming different types of chemical bonds. This rigidity may hinder the versatility needed for the wide variety of chemical reactions necessary for life processes. Additionally, silicon-based compounds are less stable in aquatic environments than their carbon-based counterparts, 
which can create difficulties in maintaining biological systems. Scientists believe the universe may be filled with ammonia-based life instead of carbon, because ammonia can play an important role in maintaining biological life in the absence of liquid water. But scientists have also said that ammonia-based life cannot survive on land. Ammonia, a compound made up of nitrogen and hydrogen atoms, has been proposed as a potential substitute for water in environments where extreme cold temperatures prevail. This speculative concept opens a window into the possibility of radically different forms of life evolving in the far reaches of our universe. One of the key factors driving the consideration of ammonia as a solvent for life is its behavior in extremely low temperatures. On celestial bodies with cold conditions, where water exists primarily in the form of ice, ammonia remains liquid and thus provides a potential habitat for life forms to flourish. In an environment where water and ammonia coexist, the two solvents can interact, creating a mixture that could provide a suitable habitat for life. Such environments may serve as transitional zones, where life forms may employ a combination of biochemical processes based on both ammonia and water chemistry. Ammonia-based life forms might employ nitrogen-based polymers as their equivalent of DNA and RNA, with nitrogenous bases playing the role of genetic information carriers. Proteins, essential for various cellular functions, might be constructed from nitrogen-rich amino acids. The moons of the giant planets such as Jupiter, Saturn and Uranus, with their sub-zero temperatures, have long been the focus of investigation regarding the possibility of ammonia-based life. Well, ammonia offers interesting possibilities as an alternative solvent, but it also presents significant challenges. For example, ammonia's high reactivity with many substances raises questions about the long-term survival of ammonia-based life forms. Additionally, the biochemistry of ammonia-based life may require unique adaptations due to the limited availability of certain essential elements in ammonia-rich environments. Well, so far, we have seen how elements other than carbon can host life in the universe, but what if life beyond Earth turns out to be completely different from what our theories predict? Life on Earth relies on two special molecules, DNA and RNA, which carry important information. Scientists have always wondered if there could be other molecules like them. While any long chain of molecules can store information, DNA and RNA have a unique ability to pass down genetic traits and adapt over time through evolution. In 2012, a team of scientists from England, Belgium and Denmark became the first in the world to develop xenonucleic acid, XNA. Synthetic nucleotides functionally and structurally similar to DNA and RNA. The team created synthetic polymerases to create six new genetic systems, HNA, CNA, LNA, ANA, FANA and TNA. One of the new genetic systems, HNA or hexatol nucleic acid was found to be robust enough to store enough genetic information to serve as the basis for biological systems. This prompts the intriguing possibility that, elsewhere in the vastness of the universe, life forms may exist without DNA and RNA as their genetic basis. Instead, they could rely on entirely different molecules for carrying genetic information. This concept challenges our conventional understanding of life as we know it. Imagine a distant planet where beings are fundamentally distinct, yet equally complex and adapted to their unique environment. Expanding on this, researchers are actively exploring the potential for alternative biochemistries. Some scientists have proposed the idea of shadow life, which refers to hypothetical organisms that could exist on Earth utilizing unconventional biochemical pathways. These organisms might coexist with familiar life forms, but operate on an entirely different set of molecular principles.
In theoretical discussions about plasma-based life, scientists contemplate a biochemistry that operates at energy levels far beyond those encountered on Earth. Instead of relying on the complex organic molecules and water-based reactions that characterize carbon-based life, plasma-based organisms might utilize the charged particles and high-energy interactions of plasma as the basis for their biochemistry. Plasma is a high-energy state of matter, distinct from solids, liquids, and gases. It consists of charged particles, such as ions and free electrons, making it an incredibly energetic and reactive environment. In a paper written in 2007, scientists have generated these ordinary matter plasma cells in the laboratory. Scientists argues that, similar to biological cells, the electrical boundary of these self-assembled gaseous plasma cells provides an enclosed internal environment that differs from the external environment. The cell is able to replicate by division and to emit and receive information like DNA and RNA. Research team believes that the plasma cell is potentially able to perform a further biochemical evolution into a living cell. This research has revealed the possibility of a strange life form that may exist in our universe. Highly energetic environments, like the outer atmospheres of stars, might support plasma-based life forms. These would be radically different from life as we know it. An energy being is an alleged life form that is composed of energy rather than matter. Well, this form of life is completely hypothetical right now, but most scientists believe that the universe can support these types of life forms and that these life forms could be the most advanced civilizations in our universe. If you've delved into the realms of science fiction, you've likely encountered the concept of energy beings. Unlike traditional extraterrestrial creatures, these entities lack physical forms, existing purely as manifestations of energy. They possess the ability to move freely across the cosmos and often exhibit extraordinary powers commensurate with their highly evolved state. They are also typically portrayed as more powerful, more enlightened, and possessing a deeper understanding of the universe. It's almost a given in most science fiction that sufficiently advanced civilizations will eventually develop this way. Converting themselves into beings of pure energy seems like the ultimate stage in the development of any civilization.